Hey, what's up, FPV world? So, basically, I just want to do a real quick video um, just to kind of get... I get a lot of questions about, like, range on the Crossfire, um, you know, kind of like what kind of range you're going to get on your video feed, um, what kind of range you're going to get on the quad, um, you know, the radio link. I can't show you um, the distance that you're going to be able to go on your radio link um, just because you'll lose video feed way before that. And, I, and I'm not in the, like, really long range, so I don't fly that far, but I can kind of just kind of show you where I like to fly. Um, it's a pretty big park um, and you'll notice in some sections I actually fly behind myself and uh, go down behind the trees and do like a little uh, split S and then back down through. Um, and uh, you know I'll, I'll get a little static in my uh, my earphone because um, I actually listen to the motors when I'm flying. I, I really enjoy doing that. It helps me fly. Um, but other than that I mean, even flying between behind several trees, you'll get a little tiny bit of breakup, but it's really not bad. And you'll notice that I fly all the way to the end of the park, um, about as far as I can go just because it ends in a, in a neighborhood. And I still have perfect feed, and I'm still at 100%. Um, and the only like little breakup I get is when I go kind of between some trees. And, you know, you've got three, four big football fields between you and the quad and a bunch of trees you know you got to expect there's going to be a little bit of static but this kind of gives you an idea yes it's an analog video obviously i'm not using my gopro because that's what i want to show you is kind of what you're going to see in the video feed when you purchase um one of these builds um these builds are basically they they run the unit the uh, tbs crossfire unify pro hv or the 32 hv um, i also run um the tbs crossfire nano receiver and then i run um a tx full um, a module for my jumper T16 and I usually keep it at one watt but I have it on dynamic so that when I'm flying around close range it, it lowers the the overall power that it's outputting so it's not running at one watt all the time but when I need it I have it um, my VTX is at a um, thousand milliwatts so it's on its highest setting but I also have that in dynamic mode because I'm running the fusion module on my SkyZone O3O's and it allows me to run dynamic mode on my VTX. So the closer I get, the lower the output of the VTX. The further I get, the more it bumps up the output. So it keeps everything kind of running nice and cool when you're not going far away, when you don't need it. But my setup is basically just like what I'm selling. Um, it's a 5-inch Bane God frame. Um, I've been building these for, for six months since they came out. Um, I've got Demon C2208 uh, motors on this. Um, I've got a 1300 um, MAH uh, 6S LiPo battery on this, but I run the 1000 MAH a lot of the times, and it's like 120 uh, C high discharge. But basically, um, you can see I'm running the same setup that I offer, and uh, this kind of gives you guys all an idea um, on what you're going to be seeing in your video feed. Now, keep in mind also that when you're watching these YouTube videos and when you're watching these things on Facebook or wherever it's posted, the video footage that you're seeing is a lot worse and pixelated than what we're seeing in our goggles. So when you're actually flying the quad and you're looking through your goggles, it's going to be a lot clearer. It's going to be actually pretty clear. It's not digital, but we've come a long ways and, um, you know, I find it pretty good. All right, guys. Hopefully this helps, um, you know, kind of just gives you an idea on what you're going to be looking at with this particular setup, um, running TBS Crossfire, Unify Pro, uh, 32HV, and the Nano Receiver, and then um, a Crossfire module for um, a multi-module controller. Um, so kind of gives you an idea on what you'll be seeing. All right, thanks guys. Take it easy.